all right hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today is technically my first youtube video alone which i'm super excited about but we will be doing a question and answer and we will also be doing a luxury apartment and car tour today so first let's start off with the first question i do have my laptop here which has all the questions on there so we're going to start from there okay first i would like to introduce myself so on instagram my name is love by j and tiktok it is love by j if i'm not mistaken then um you know i always wanted to do a youtube channel i just never really had the balls to do personal things but today i will be pursuing these dreams so i'm really excited about that and on top of that you know i love the people i really do i love the lights i love the cameras i love the action right now we are literally on my couch filming but we will be moving around so you guys can get a full-on apartment tour so question okay question number one what is my youtube channel going to be about it's literally going to be about everything that i love like i love the get ready with me i love the gym i love girl talk i just love everything along those lines just you know how to build your credit score up i get those questions a lot and i will be doing a separate video on that so just stay tuned look out for it and i'll see you guys soon just for all the young people who are interested in credit then question number two the second question that i get often is how old are you i am 20 and my birthday is in march 8th i was born 2002 guys i don't know i i like my age frame literally goes like i get 26 where do you see 26 at but they also say that black don't crack so i'll take it but like then i also get 16 so it's very in the middle another one is how many tattoos do you have i have two tattoos i have an under boob tattoo and i also have a tattoo here it is big gin well, let me show you guys for real not for fake it says big gin it's for my mother who passed away so love you mom and that's but my first tat well my under boob tattoo was my first tattoo and this was my second tattoo another question question number three is do you smoke or drink no i have drunk drink before it's not for me it won't be for me and that is okay i've accepted it it is what it is it's just not for me okay um i did drink like occasionally but i don't typically do it and i don't smoke at all so yeah i don't even like the smell of weed honestly so no absolutely not here's the question that literally over 17 people ask me what's your relationship status right now i am dating that's it that's all i just i'm doing what makes me happy i'm jumping out there meeting new people and what works for me works for me a lot of people say girls that go on a lot of dates are hoes if you're a man that thinks that, please do not try to talk to me because I will be going out on dates. I will be taking myself on dates, you know. And we also get into that later, Glams, because I need to teach y'all how to find the right dudes because I'm sick of y'all having no baby daddies and that's okay. We're going to get into it correctly. Okay, how tall are you? I am 4'10 and a half. I have scoliosis. I'm not sure if everybody knows what scoliosis is or not, but it's basically a curve in your spine. My spine goes in like this, and it also curves like that. I'll get into a separate video for that as well, so guys, stay tuned for everything. I'm so excited. 
Where are you from? I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Next person that tell me I'm not from Baltimore, Maryland, we're going to have a problem. Everybody's like, you don't have that accent. You don't have that accent. That doesn't change the fact that I'm from there. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Okay. And so a lot of people ask me, where do I live right now? So I live in Virginia right now and I will be doing, I do live in a luxury apartment. Um, I will be doing a apartment tour and a car tour today. So guys, stay tuned. It is so pretty and fun fact, I actually just recently got my dream car and I'm so, so, so excited and I also have a surprise for you guys at the end. So stay tuned because I have an announcement to make and no, I'm not pregnant. Please stop jinxing me. <laughs> Okay, our next question. And honestly, I want to hear a lot of feedback. Do y'all think I should go more in detail? What do you guys want to hear more about? Because I want to make the people happy. Like maybe, I mean, like I'm going to get some hair videos too. Because like I love my cute little curls and little hairstyles. I actually miss the piece, but I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Right before I started filming this video, look, I literally started scratching my edges. Now they're gone. I don't like that. Not at all. Another one is how many siblings do you have? This is hard to break down. My dad and my mom got married. My dad and my mom had me and my little brother. My dad has two separate kids outside of my mom. And my mom had six kids outside of him. So, it's 10 of us all together. But, yeah. <laughs> A lot of people ask me all the time, what am I mixed with? I'm mixed with Indian, white, Jamaican. And Trinidadian. I don't know how to like tr Trinidadian, I guess, but that's what I mix with. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it shows. Like a lot of people say they can see it in my hair color. Uh, I said hair color. Jesus Christ, and my hair texture, but I'm not really sure. I don't know. I just feel like this is a typical black girl with curls in her head. Like, that's personally how I see it, but we're not going to get into it. Okay, and next, the next question is, what shoe size do you wear? I don't know why everybody's so obsessed with my feet. Like, everybody always asks me, what shoe size do you wear? Why are your feet so small? I wear a size three. I don't know why my feet are so small. I guess I'm a small person, like, in general. So... When is your first get ready with me and how do you consider your style? My first get ready with me was going to be today, but I figured I would just try to keep the video short and simple about exactly like questions and answers and my apartment and car tour. But I consider my style like classy, slutty, and edgy. If that makes sense like I don't think that I have a boring style but one thing about me I'm gonna wear a crop top and my ass gonna show just a little bit but I can also keep it super classy but I can also make something classy into something slutty so that's kind of how I would describe my style overall for sure cuz child mm, yeah <laughs> if you guys see my instagram then y'all would know my instagram again is love by dot j l o b e d b y dot j a y y then the next question i'm looking at my laptop guys the next question is how many bodies do you have and i think this is really interesting and y'all answer my question first and i will answer y'all what do you if somebody has a little dick right do y'all consider that a body? Like, let's be honest. 
do you guys consider that a body? If you didn't come, do you consider that a body? When y'all get back to me, I will get back to y'all and I will let y'all know how many bodies I have. Mm. We're going to leave that at that. That's that. Okay. Y'all wanted to get into the spicy questions. So I'm going to make sure I answer all the spicy questions too. Because I don't want nothing super boring. Or I want y'all to really know me. And I'm not embarrassed of anything I've ever did, ever said, ever done, and will do in the future. Well, that's a lie. Because I literally fall on my ass every day. So I would technically be lying. But... I'm not afraid to, you know, show who I am. I'm not embarrassed or ashamed of who I am. So I'm going to just give y'all the real details. And we're going to go from there because y'all are my glams. And yeah, mm -hmm. I need y'all to feel comfortable. What did I graduate with? So I graduated from Corsana and that's like a Google thing, if that makes sense. Like a Google college, I guess. And I graduated as an e-commerce and digital marketer. Well, e-commerce analyst and a digital marketer. I actually love it, honestly. Um, it's a little bit more challenging than I thought it was going to be, but it's not too, too bad. So, I, I'm working my way into it. I really should have put on some lip gloss because, child, look at these lips. They look a mess. They look a mess. Hold up, y'all. I'm about to go get me some skin lip gloss. I'm back. Day and back. I feel like I look so much better now. I feel like I should read you the entire video just because I have lip gloss on now. We're not going to talk about it. So the next question is, mm, how do you taste so good? I honestly want the person who asked this question to reply to my DM because how do you know? How do you know? Some have been out there snitching. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Like, girl, mm, who out there running their mouth? But honestly, a lot of people might think that this is just like me saying this to say this. But drink water with lemon and take a shot of pure cranberry juice. I'm so sick of seeing females saying, ooh, I got cranberry juice. And they have like ocean sprinkle whatever it's called like that is not pure cranberry juice it's not at all oh then it's just like it doesn't make sense to me i will probably try to insert a picture you know what no mm -mm. that's going to be my next vlog yeah we'll do like a little day in the life with me because i feel like my life is very interesting and I want to share that part of me with you guys. I feel like a lot of people look at me and be like, oh, she's bitchy or she trying to play bent and stuff like that. I feel like I'm 20 years old now. The people that knew me when I was 15 expect me to be the same person. No, I don't want to associate with your messy ass. You got five kids. Go be a mother. Go be a father. Why are y'all so worried about me? I don't like that at all. And I don't like this angle either. What else? I feel like my neck looks so fat. What is neck? Don't look so fat. Mm -mm. Okay. But yeah, pure cranberry juice is the way to go, babes. Real talk. Don't let nobody fool you. Oh my God. Somebody in my hallway just scared out of me. I'm so terrified. Like, why would they do that? Okay. The next question is, do you have an animal? Yes, I have an animal. His name is TJ, and I love him more than life itself. I will give my pinky toe for TJ in the event that he ever needed it. Oh, somebody knocking on somebody door real hard. Anyways, point is, I love TJ to death, and that's just that. <laughs> He is my only cat. He's actually adopted. I He was found on the side of the road. Almost dead. I don't know exactly how old he is. But 
I did originally make his birthday in January. I said January, in July, but he's honestly giving like Aquarius vibes. Like he only likes to be bothered when he wants to be bothered. He only likes to love you when he wants to be loved. Other than that, he want to be left alone. And that what sounds more like that than an Aquarius. So I think I'm going to change his birthday. Mm-hmm. To February. And then he'll be right before his mommy's birthday. Yeah, but he definitely gives Aquarius vibes. So, yeah. Um. Where do you get your individuals from? I actually go to this girl called Jocelyn. Um, I think if you just type in like Nails by Jocelyn or something. This set is not from her though. These are from uh, Helen. I think her name is on Instagram. I love these. And fun fact, these also match what I want my car to look like. If you guys are picking up what I'm putting down on my little car tour that y'all gonna see later. So this is actually exactly why I got my nails this color. And I will also be doing a photo shoot in my car because I love it so much. So look out on Instagram for some cute pictures. And somebody said, I love your lashes. They look so natural. I typically always have on individuals. But for my first YouTube channel... I, like YouTube video, I wanted pure me, like me lounge clothes in a house, natural hair. Like I typically wear like beautiful earrings and stuff. No, nope. no makeup. Y'all see this little rash here I got going on. This is oil, so don't pay no mind to that. But like these are my natural lashes. Got a little mascara on, but like no makeup, no nothing. I want everybody to see who I am and make everybody feel welcome. Like, for me, if your content is only strictly about beauty, then I think that you should always have makeup on or always be ready to do your makeup on live or on a video or whatever. Oh, my goodness. Where did the train come from? Has that been there the whole time? I don't know where it came from, guys. I really don't. Whatever. Anyways, so yeah, that's just, it is what it is. Um, That's just how I feel about the whole situation. But my blog is personally going to be about travel. It's going to be about health and wellness. It's going to be about building your credit. It's going to be about girl talk. It's going to be about my life and how I decide to enjoy it. So Hope you guys are ready for that and i hope you guys stay tuned hope you guys like subscribe and share okay and the next question is how many places have you traveled let's go down the list first i went to miami for my birthday then i went to philly then i went let me make sure i'm not missing anything miami again then after Miami, I went to New York. After New York, I went to San Diego. And that was fun. Okay. Oh my goodness. I love traveling. It is honestly the best decision that I have made. And just a little girl talk, just a little bit. I know this is a question and answer, but let me tell you something. If you want to travel, travel. Listen to me closely. Don't let anybody fears or insecurities get inside your mind. When I first turned 18, I wanted to travel the world. That was always my dream. And I let everybody's fears and insecurities get inside my mind. And it wasn't like, oh, I'm weak or I don't have a mind of my own. It was the simple fact that this is my family. People that I trusted. People that knew more than me. So, of course, I wanted to learn from them. But... Oh, planes explode, planes crash, planes this, people get kidnapped and sex trafficking was so high and just things like that. Don't let it get to you. Get on, Book that flight. Get on that train. Take that road trip. Best advice I can ever give you. 
do what makes you happy and that's exactly why i'm starting this youtube channel today because this is what makes me happy i've always been comfortable in front of a crowd i've always been told oh i'm the wiser friend or always give really good advice and i just feel like there's so many young girls out there who are like me who didn't have certain people in their lives or the people that they had growing up eventually grew up themselves and had their own lives to live and you just had to figure it out I had to figure a lot of stuff out at a very young age. So I'm just here to help every other girl who still trying to figure things out, you know? So that's what I'm here for. And I hope you guys will take this journey with me for sure. Okay, the next question is, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. I don't know why somebody went, why so, it was actually like three people that wanted to know that question, but my favorite color is blue. I know I promote pink all the time, but I just love pink. I've been told since like third grade, I had a teacher named Miss Flynn and she would tell me pink is your color every single day of my life. Anytime I wore pink and she would ask me to wear pink more. And then as I got older, cause growing up, I definitely was a tone boy. And as I got older, I just realized, okay, pink is my color. And I actually really do like the color pink. I think that pink would probably be my second favorite color and then orange. But blue is for sure my number one. For sure. All the time, always will be. Nothing will ever outdo blue. Sorry. Okay. Next question. If I could redo anything in life, what would it be? I probably would just, I don't think I would redo anything, honestly. I just try to live life without any regret. So it's just like everything that happens for me in my mind, everything happens for a reason. Everything. So it's just no regrets. YOLO. I'm sorry, I'm embarrassing myself. But yeah, everything happens for a reason. That's just how I feel about it. I don't have any regrets in life. I don't think that I ever will have any regrets in life. And I just will try my best to never regret anything in life. It's just everything is a learning experience. You live and you learn. My next question was, so I made a video and somebody asked me, what's that black dot on your lip? So here we go. Right here is a mole beauty mark do you guys see that well i feel like you can but <laughs> it's the beauty mark i always had it it's not very visible like right now and you can't see much of it until it's pointed out because now you can see exactly where it is while i'm talking but I had it my entire life. It's nothing special. It's nothing new. I love it. It's beautiful. Um, a next question is, where was your favorite place to travel? I think for sure it has to either be New York or Miami. Um, Miami was such a vibe. The first and the second time I went there. Such a vibe. It was so much cool energy. I am a bikini person for sure. I do not, I'm not a big fan of the cold. Now, I can get down with it because I also will share, be sharing some how to make, you know, spring outfits and things like that. But it's not my forte. I'm definitely just like a bikini and pool person or bikini and beach. It's just what I prefer. It's always been my preference. Okay, so next on the list, the next question. I actually remember this one, so I don't have to like look. But, um where is your next place to go so i'm actually planning my birthday trip right now so guys i'm not sure if you guys have any ideas can you guys keep me like tuned in because i want to do a big but i don't want to go where everybody else has went so let's just leave it at that um so yeah, I'm not really sure what I want to do or how I want to do it. But I know for a fact that I want to go big, like super big, like super duper big. <laughs> and I'm really excited for it. So we'll see. I will keep you guys updated. And this is the last question that I will answer. And 
so we can get to the apartment tour and things like that okay so the last question is what is your favorite moment in life my this is something i really actually thought about for a long time you know because this was just like i feel like everybody you know has their up and downs in life and i don't really know i think my favorite moment is just be to be when i chose myself because that's something that i always struggle with for like a really long time so i'm really proud of myself for you know keeping it together and really just choosing myself overall okay let's get into this apartment tour and then the car tour okay so i'm on my way i'm walking to the elevator these are what the hallways look like so let's continue to go and then we are going to go to heaven and <laughs> that's scary then we're going to um First, we're having a apartment tour, so we're gonna do that first. And here we are at the elevator. These elevators take forever. Hopefully, nobody's on here with me because that would be mad awkward. At this point, I'm about to take the steps. You know what? Yeah, let's take the steps, guys. Okay, here we go. Here's the steps. If I wanted to get a workout in today, today is clearly the day because it's a lot of different steps. Okay. Okay. We're going to start from the bottom and work our way to the top. There's so many steps, guys. I live on the top floor, so this is a skin workout. I just feel like doing it in the morning is so awkward because everybody is about to be staring at me like a crazy lady with this damn tripod. Because a lot of the places here you need a key for. This is the mail room. Everybody has their mail there. And now we are walking. Here's a little office slash conference room. I should have really put my camera, but it'll be okay. We'll get through it together. Another office slash conference room so pretty in there i don't know if you guys can see this let's backtrack really quick look it's glitter it's so pretty and there we go conference room and here is where we find the people that help us with everything and my favorite view of them all I absolutely love it here. It is so fab. And then we have the gym. It's a little bathroom there. And here's the gym. I don't want to like go in there because like somebody's in there and I don't want to like disrespect their privacy. But yeah. We're walking up more steps again. Okay. And here we go at the restaurant across the street from here. And here are the steps and the little view from up there. Well, from down here to up there. Y'all are giving me a fucking run for my money today. Okay. So this is the second floor. This is a woman's bathroom. And. Here's how it looks from up here. Inside this door, there's also a pet grooming area. 
more water bottle things to fill up your water bottle, duh. Okay. Oh my God. I hate when people look at me. Like, don't do that. <laughs> Okay, the pet grooming area. Okay, we're walking. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's a big dog. Okay. That's another hallway. Guys, my arms are fucking tight. Here's the men's locker room. And I will actually be showing you guys inside the locker room as well. I'm going to check and see if there's anybody in there first. Here we go, walking into the locker room. Oh, there it goes. nobody's in here this is another lounge of course where you need the key to get in and let me give you guys the grand tour here To the next. Next, we will be doing the poolside lounge. And yes, it is called poolside lounge. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but <laughs> okay. This is like a game room, so it kind of has like a microwave over here, a TV, refrigerator. Eva has a place to wash dishes because this is more like a game room, like Super Bowls and stuff. People are typically in here. Oh my goodness, I pulled instead of pushed. How ghetto. And now guys, we're about to go to the rooftop. I honestly feel like I will have better luck taking the stairs because I don't like want to run into people and invade their privacy. So up the stairs we go. These ones have carpet. So cute. So cute. Ciao. Let me tell you. Don't look at like y'all. This is a lot of fucking steps. And I want to hear, how do you love us and you don't know us? Anybody supporting me, I love them. End of story. Thank you. <sighs> okay. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. And here we are at the roof. I feel like I should have brought a jacket. 
Right. Here it is, guys. It is cold as I would let you guys see just like everything but I'm actually freezing now so now it's on to my car. I'm so excited okay pause the video stop what you're doing and see if you can guess what kind of car I have I will announce it are you ready guys Four, three, two. I have a Jeep Cherokee my dream car has always oh body has always been a jeep and i am more than excited that i have one it is literally a dream come true like i'm low-key tearing up you see that good i hope y'all don't because i'm actually like oh my god i'm gonna mess up my mascara Oh man, it's just a dream come true. Oh my God, I'm messing up my mascara, guys. But um, let's get into my car now. Oh, look at my tits down. Oh man, oh, I always make fun of people who like cry in front of cameras because I'd be like, oh. They're just crying to get views. But when you really accomplish something, tears are real, my guy. Tears are real. Oh, man, are they real. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right. Here comes my baby. I'm so excited to show you guys my car so on here you have this is to unlock and lock this one's to pop my trunk this is the panic button and this one is to start my car there she goes there she goes look at her let's start her up guys let's start her up okay are you ready oh don't play with her Oh, you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have to cover my license plate really quick. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Don't, don't play with her. When I get close, the door is open. And yes, we need to get her back to Y'all are actually gonna come with me in a different video, in a day in my life, to get her back in with me. So this is the inside. And I have my little pink hooks there. And, oh, I keep dropping you guys. And tons and tons of trunk space. Let's get in, shall we? Okay, we are in, guys. This is my baby. I love, love, love so much. We even got the pink push start thing. You see? I'm all over the place. Right there. And when I hit number one, my seat auto adjusts. I am very short, so you guys will see me going up. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Let's turn these lights back on. Do you see the difference? Like, oh, we need a little be my horror moment mm. <laughs> and that is my first youtube channel thank you for watching hopefully you like subscribe and subscribe and we're gonna do that again thank you for watching like subscribe and share please and i hope to see you guys soon i will be posting a day in the life with me and you guys let me know what y'all after that video what y'all want the next video to be mm.